Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Third cold start video this week. None of them have been cold. It's nice, warm out, sunny Kansas City in the West Bottoms. And today we've got a truck that I can't tell you how many people I've had call me about it. It's been on our website for a year. There's a lot of work and time in this truck. As you can tell already, it's stunning, it's beautiful. We've got a lot going on. We're gonna be diving into it today, giving you the whole rundown, condition, story, quirks, a little bit of everything. 06 Dodge Ram 2500, three quarter ton crew cab short bed, Texas rust free truck in that electronic pearl blue color that everybody loves. This thing is sick. SLT, so medium trim as far as power options and gray cloth, seating for six. It's big, let me get up here. Oh. All right, miles 171596. Not a ton of miles on it. Truck should be slightly warm because I've been driving it around and doing pictures. Fires right up, no problems, no issues. And it's not warm yet, so mild cold start, but it's, well heck, let's just see. What do we got? It's 56 degrees outside today in Kansas City. It's beautiful spring day. This truck, a lot going on. Um, I'm gonna give you the whole run down here. 170K, we bought it off a local guy. Um, it's a well-known truck, um, very cool rig. Everything works in it. We serviced it, AC, got new lines, new Freon. It's ice cold. It's got a nice Bluetooth head unit in it. Um, hook right up to your phone and play everything wirelessly. Uh, it's got pillar gauges. We've got an Edge CTS-4 in it, and that is included if you pay the asking price, but if not, that'll be removed. We use this one around the shop. Uh, if you come pay my asking price, I'm gonna throw it in on the deal. That's a $400 value, and it mounts nicely in that little pillar pod there. Um, but it's good for monitoring all your temps and everything, the vitals with the motor. Um, cruise control, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and they are paint to match, custom painted mirrors, which look amazing. Old school, four wheel drive on the floor, manual shifter, no electronics default. Um, not super trimmed up, it's an 0659 Cummins, you know they really didn't start trimming them up till 08 really. A couple 06s I guess were pretty trimmed up. Um, yeah, the seats are in great condition, they got some minor stains but no rips or tears. That's the condition all throughout. This truck is really nice. Um, and what's going on with this truck is the reason we've had it so long is we were chasing injector problems and then we said, you know, to heck with this. We sent all the injectors off right at the beginning of the pandemic to Oregon Diesel. They checked them all and found a couple of bad ones. So we put a brand new set of injectors in this truck. We still had a problem with it. So we sent it out to those guys at H&H &H Diesel in Ottawa, Kansas. And I'll tell you right now, that is the best shop that we like to use as far as Cummins go. They also are phenomenal with Fords and Duramaxes, but they build thousand horsepower drag trucks. So H&H &H Diesel in Ottawa, Kansas, my boy CT and Jonathan giving you a shout out. Uh, go check them out. They pulled the head off this, uh, did some head work, went through the entire head, uh, redid the studs uh, and put brand new head gaskets in it all new fluids they went through the engine so that's why this truck's been up for sale for so long it had a full basically head off motor repair so the top end's brand new checked everything head shop gaskets all that good stuff top end of the motors new arp head studs um other than that we got a lift pump you know uh, built trans h and h they also did the built trans coincidentally the previous owner had it built in h and h around 160 165k so not long ago 10 15 000 miles roughly um so it is a heavy duty built trans it's powder coated gold you can't miss it i'm not lying to you about this i don't have the paperwork but i've talked to the owner of h and h and they confirmed they built it i'm in the process of getting the paperwork if you need to call them and verify yourself h and h diesel in ottawa kansas jonathan or ct uh, but either than that this truck's got a six inch lift kit some 20s and 35s and an exhaust and that's pretty much it but a lot going on it's texas it's rust free it's super clean so let's start under the hood and check there i want to start showing you guys all this cool stuff and quit talking about it ah so a 
TFE cold air intake with a new filter. As you can see, it does have the VD two-piece manifold. I believe the turbo is stock. Check her for a little blow by. None at all. Everything's really nice under the hood. Coming right to the CP3. Upgraded billet grill with paint to match surround. Paint to match custom headlights with halo rings. Um, there's some wiring in the back seat. We didn't build these headlights um, and they need to be put together as far as getting those rings. They're brand new, uh, but we don't have the proper drivers to power them on. So the RGBW and RGB stuff is pretty simple, but it's a little bit out of our pay grade when we don't know where the kit came from. Um, SLT with fog lights. Smoke five highs, paint to match mirrors. Kind of just going over this. I don't see any condition as far as scratches. This truck is not beat up. It is a pretty truck. Someone plasti dipped the emblems, it looks like. I did not do that. Uh, rough country, six inch suspension lift. It's not leveled. And we are sitting on 20 by 12 moto metals. Uh, 962s, I believe. I'm not positive. And Nitto. Ridge Grapplers, 10 ply tires. Now the tires, they're not shot. You know, they got 15, 20,000 miles left in them. They're really nice, uh, but they're not new. You know, we put a lot of money into the drivetrain and front end and the engine on this truck. So we didn't get to do all the cool mods we typically like to do. We did put a track bar, tie rods, upper and lower ball joints. All the front suspension, I believe a gearbox too, alignment, it was all done. These custom painted mirrors are sick. They're not flat, they've been polished up. They're cleared professionally and look great. Uh, door handles, paint to match too. All of them professionally done. Cab corners and rockers of this truck have zero rust. Eat your heart out because this truck is nice. I believe that's a fast 165 setup. And I called fast with the serial number. It's only a year and a half old, so it's a newer titanium fast pump. Uh, what I told you about those headlights, all the controllers we got, I don't know if those are the right ones or wrong runs. We took a stab at it. We got them lighting up, but they need some love. They just need to be wired into a controller. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the folding locking tonneau cover. We have a rust-free bed with no rust at all on it. Look at those cross rails. Holy crap, those are clean. You guys, we don't sell, I mean, we're right here in the middle. We sell rust-free trucks and we sell rusty trucks. We're not biased. We sell them all. This thing is the epitome of a Texas rust-free truck. Smoked out tail lights, smoked out third brake, far from stock stickers supplied by previous owner, not us, but it does look kind of cool on there. We left it. Uh, paint to match tailgate handle. Um, bumpers are still chrome. Four inch exhaust, MBRP turbo back with a six inch chrome tip. Sounds great, it's healthy. I mean, look at this frame, guys. Look at that thing. exhaust actually is brand new. I think we put the new exhaust on it when we got it. The other one was just muffler deleted, so we put a full inch turbo back, downpipe and all. No rust on the bed. Flawless, look at that paint shine. Oh, it's so metallic and nice. I don't know if you guys are getting it as good as I am on this video, but this truck is electron blue and it is sick in the sun. Shout out, 816 Diesel. Uh, rockers and cab corners, passenger side. I mean, you could eat off. A little paint chip starting right there. Nothing crazy, a little paint deal. Is 
Same with the doors. This isn't a, a re, or what do you call it, a resto job. This is an original truck. It's nice. But you get it, you know, we bring nice stuff to the table over here at 816 Diesel. Passenger seats manual, so manual slide, manual recline. It's an SLT truck. Uh, we've got your owner's manual in there. Guys, that's it. I, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this truck. So, you know, yada yada at the end of the video, I always tell you, don't snooze, it's not gonna be around long. I've had this truck on my website for a year and I'm not joking when I said I've had probably 50 to 100 people contact me about it. I can't even keep track of it anymore. So, head on over there now, 816diesel.com. I'm sorry to everybody who wanted it. Uh, we were battling little issues, needed some head gaskets. We got it done. We paid up for it. Uh, if I get the receipt for the tranny, we'll have 10 G's in receipts for this truck alone. Um, so obviously, built trans, head studs, lift pump, new head gaskets, the works. Uh, it's a pretty bulletproof Cummins to be hopping into, guys. Um, so if you have any questions, 816diesel.com. That's my website. Check it out. We've got pictures, mods, VIN number, pricing. Everything is listed on the website. So head over there now, 816diesel.com. My name's Cameron. You can call or text me, 913-735-3748. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or you want to schedule an appointment to come drive it. We are downtown Kansas City, Missouri, I-35 and I-70 area in the west bottom. So pretty easy to find right off the highway. I want you to hear the exhaust too. I'm going to give us a little romp out at the end here. Um, but call or text me with any questions. I appreciate you guys watching. Click that subscribe button. Ring the bell. Hear it. We got more cool trucks coming. So thanks for your time, guys, and enjoy this spring weather.